Good day everyone, this is Louie coming at you again. Uh, I decided to pull over for this video because uh, I'm on a snowy, icy road still. Uh, the point is, is yesterday the impeachment uh, process has begun in the Senate. Now, I didn't get to watch all the back and forth. I didn't get to watch any of it actually. And I'm going to take time out and see if I can find it on YouTube. And if I can, I'm going to watch it. But I did catch some of the highlights through different uh, news organizations. Um, the radio station I listened to. Um, there's some news briefs on various channels that I watched last night about what was going on. And I guess the senators were up to about 3 o'clock in the morning hashing all this out. The thing that gets me is the Democrats, Adam Schiff, Jerry Nadler, and whoever, that other, whoever the other managers are, really... They ought to be up for an Academy Award because there is no way they are so dumb as to think that what they're doing is fair, okay, honest, and straightforward. They are making accusations that are not based by actual facts. They're using hearsay evidence. They're using conjecture. They're using everything but actual facts. The Senate, which is a Republican-held Senate, uh, they're trying, you know, I know it's partisan, but at the same time, they're trying to keep it fair. They're using the same rules that Bill Clinton went through. Now, those rules that Bill Clinton went through when he was impeached were seen fair by the Dems, and now it doesn't. And the other thing about the House Dems is they want the Senate to do the job they were supposed to do. Okay, their job, their job was to gather the evidence, actual, factual evidence. But instead of doing it the right way, going through the courts when our president invoked executive privilege, going through the courts, doing everything they could do to get the evidence, they decided, you know what, we ain't got time for this. Let's just go with what we got. And then as soon as they got the impeachment vote from the House, Nancy Pelosi sat on it for 31 days. 31 days. Okay? If they didn't have time to go through the courts, then why was she able to sit on it for 31 days? I'll tell you why. They were hoping something would come up with evidence. Actual evidence that they could attach to those articles of impeachment. Now, here's my prediction. It's going to go into the Senate which it did, and they're going to go through all the motions, and they're going to go through everything that's going on, and they're going to get these arguments, they're going to hold a vote, and our president's going to be completely found innocent or acquitted. What's going to happen is the House is going to start another set of impeachment inquiries, and they're going to do it again. Why? Because that's what they want. They want to get rid of President Trump. Now, I'm going to tell you, I've already said it in the last video. They've already started impeachment articles on Mike Pence. They just haven't announced it yet. And the reason they haven't announced it, and the way I know about it, is they did mention it once. It was mentioned one time back, oh, about three weeks, I, I, dare I guess, three weeks after they started President Trump's impeachment inquiry. I heard one announcement that they've already started with Mike Pence. I think the ultimate goal is to get rid of the Republican president get rid of the Republican vice president and put Nancy Pelosi or some other Democrat, if it gets that far, into the White House. By getting rid of Mike Pence and Donald Trump, there will be no Republicans to run because the Republicans are holding on to the fact that they're, they're not going to be able to get past them. Now, the downside is if Mike Pence and Donald Trump actually make an error, they're going to be all over him. So he's walking a tightrope. And the only thing we can do this people is tell our representatives to hold strong. Do not let the Dems get rid of our president. That's all you can do. Now, shifty shift, pencil neck shift, whatever you want to call him, Adam Schiff. He 
really needs to be voted out of office. Nancy Pelosi needs to be voted out of office. Maxine Waters needs to be pulled out of office. AOC probably won't have an office after they get done redistricting because of so many people leaving New York State, especially in her area. So AOC probably won't have one. Omar and that other Tlaib, whatever her name is, they need to go. Okay? They're anti-Semitic views are actually a detriment to our country. It really is. We only we have very few friends in the Middle East, and one is a very strong friend of ours is Israel. Their anti-Semitic views are only hurting us. So we need to get rid of them. And I have a feeling Omar is going to be leaving because of felonies. She's going to be leaving soon. Uh, she's under investigation for all kinds of felonies. Um one's for the education and one I think is um, has something to do with immigration I'm not sure everything on it but basically she got married to somebody so she can qualify for education benefits and then she divorced him but he remained in the picture kind of thing and uh, the immigration somehow I don't know what the whole story is with immigration but I think she married her brother just so she could be here whatever I don't know doesn't matter to me in that sense I think she needs to go and I don't care how she goes um, there's another caravan heading up from the south to the United States um, and basically I understand the Mexican government's going to do everything they can to stop them now I did hear a rumor that people are cutting holes in the wall that Donald Trump built well what happens when you bargain with the Dems they find some way to try and screw you over if that's the case then get those Dems out get a Republican house and we maybe Trump will try and get the wall built the right way cement thick 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 deep 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 cement and then maybe we can have a secure border this I didn't like what I saw with this and unless it's some kind of steel that you can't cut or titanium that you can't cut what's the sense of putting what they put up up okay now if it's not true great but I don't know I haven't been down there I didn't see it I only heard one report once again one report I heard it about a month or so ago so, right now, our government's the laughing stock in this country, in the world, and it isn't because of Donald Trump, it's because of the Democrats. Oh, the other thing I want to talk to you about, the racial divide. Why is it, everyone thinks we have a major racial divide, when only the Democrats are the ones calling for racism? Uh, let me rephrase this, the racial divide that has been created by Trump, but yet it's the Democrats that are hollering race all the time. Everything's racism with them. They've used the word racism for so many things so many times that they've actually watered it down to mean nothing more than the word it and of the. That's what they've done. So pretty soon, being a call to racist ain't gonna be no worse than being called an, an idiot. And I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's right. Because there are true racists in this country. I'm not going to deny that. I can't deny that. It's, the fact is there. But by doing so, they're normalizing the term. And by normalizing the term, it ain't going to mean anything. So when you do meet a true racist, it's going to be like talking to your own little cousin. Or your own big cousin, whatever. You know, your own brother, your own sister. You know, instead of thinking, oh, this guy's a racist, you're going to say, yeah, he's a racist. Hey, how you doing? You know, that's just not right. That's not fair to the individuals who are, well, to anybody. Because let's face it, right? whites are discriminated, get, discriminated, discriminated against as well. And I know I just put a lot of people into an uproar, but you know what? We are. That's what, uh, um, oh, <laughs> the term left me. 
Uh, we just are. Okay, you just have to deal with it. Um, what's the term? It's the, it, I can't, the term just went out right out my head. But basically what it is is uh, where an employer gets paid to hire a member from the minority instead of hiring the most qualified individual. Okay? What, what do they call that? Oh, it's race baiting though. Um, so in other words, if you're trying to get a job and you're up against a black guy, the employer could hire the black guy and get paid by the federal government for hiring and training him instead of hiring you because even though you're more qualified. Um, and it's right there on the tip of my tongue too. I can't, I can't think of what it's called though. I think a job should go to the most qualified individual, whether it be the black guy, the white guy, the Chinese guy, the Mexican guy, whatever, okay? Or girl. I want to keep women involved in this. Same goes with the women. Doesn't matter, shouldn't matter what your skin color is, what, what religion you practice. It, the only thing should matter is your qualifications. And it shouldn't, in this, you know, paying some a company to hire a member of the minority this shouldn't be allowed. It really shouldn't. It should go to the most qualified individual. And, uh, you know, well, not really, the, I guess the word most qualified, the phrase most qualified doesn't work. The one that most qualified for that position, okay? So in other words, you can't go in there with an eight-year degree for a job that's, you know, high school diploma kind of thing. Um, eight-year degree for a trade diploma. The individual that has most qualifications to suit the purposes of the job along with the wages to suit the job so in other words a person who would generally get say 40 bucks an hour like welding and but your job only pays 20 an hour for welding then the 40 an hour individual should move on to a 40 an hour job qual uh, interview and let the 20 dollar an hour individual take it okay when I say $20 an hour individual, I'm not talking about an individual who's willing to accept $20 an hour. I'm talking about an individual who's got the experience and the qualifications for $20 an hour. If you've got the experience and qualifications for $40 an hour, move on. Get a job doing $40 an hour. So that's just my opinion. That's how I feel about it. I wish I could remember what they called that, though. You know what's going to happen? Two o'clock in the morning this morning is going to hit me. It's going to hit me hard. It's going to hit me fast. And there's nothing I'm going to be able to do about it. <laughs> Y'all have a good day.